gonna do a walkthrough today in Wilsonville, Oregon of some new construction at the Frog Pond development. They are built, their homes here are built by Richmond Construction, Richmond Builders. Today we're gonna go through a couple of them. This one right here is the Lowell. Um, we're gonna walk through, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, the way it's set up. It could be a four bedroom with the loft being converted into a bedroom. 2,091 square feet and it's running for 710,000. If you buy in these homes, you get to pick out your finishes at the home gallery and you can make it your own, even though it has the same look maybe outside. You can pick colors and finishes. It's a great option for new construction. Let's go look why it's in the framing stage and see what we can look at. I'm Marin Paldi with Paldi Homes and we're gonna do a walkthrough of some new construction today in Wilsonville, Oregon. We're excited to have you with us. During these walkthroughs, we talk about kind of where things are at, where they're gonna be placed. It just gives you a good idea about the area, what the um, new construction area looks like, and kind of where our next steps are. So if you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, let's get you a new home in Wilsonville, Oregon. Okay, so here's the front door of the Lowell. When you walk in, there's a hallway, the stairs, linen cabinet, and there's gonna be a half bath right here. The Lowell Sports two-car garage, which you can see right here. There is going to be an exit on the other side, a man door, which I love. You're going to walk in. There's going to be a walk-in closet area here. And then you walk into the great room with a fireplace. Tons of natural light, as you can see. The kitchen with an island. Comes off of the garage. Come right in. You're going to have a pantry. You're going to have your appliances over here, your cooktop is going to be against the wall, and then you're going to have a dining area right here that opens up into a covered patio that will have lights. This is your outside look. You're going to have lots of new homes here. You are one of the first people to buy in this area, which gives you a lot of options and a lot of opportunity. All right, let's head upstairs and see what that looks like. All right, as we head upstairs, this is a house that can be converted from three bedrooms to four bedrooms. This loft area right here that we walk into, this could be the fourth bedroom. Right now it's only framed in to be a loft and a three bedroom house up here. This is gonna be the laundry. You're gonna have one bedroom here with a closet. Coming back, you have half bath, Another bedroom upstairs, and then you're coming into the primary bedroom, which is at the back. Primary bedroom, which walks into a full bathroom. It's gonna have a tub, two sinks, the toilet, and then you're gonna have your walk-in closet, and your shower is gonna be right there. Again, we're just in the framing stage, but just so you can get kind of an idea of what these look like. Again, you can pick the finishes. And again, this could be a fourth bedroom. Okay, so this is the front of the Lowell that we walked through. Um, these are the different front scapes that it can be, the different looks based on what choice of housing or what choice of plan you get. So let's look inside and see the floor plan. Okay, so these are the different options as we talked about. This Lowell could be a three to four bedroom house. It has definitely two and a half um, bath, two car garage. Those things can't change. But when we zoom in on the front, the great room is down below with the two-car garage, the kitchen, and then the optional is a gourmet kitchen down below. And then as you come upstairs, again, we talked about the loft being converted into the bedroom, which would be the optional fourth bedroom, and the optional deluxe um, owner's bathroom. Um, you could do two different looks up there. So just other options, just so you can see what the floor plan of the Lowell looks like if you're interested in chatting about it with, within your house. So this is our second home on this little tour we're gonna do in Wilsonville in the Frog Pond development area. This is the Lowry home. This home is configurable. It starts with um, three bedrooms. It can be five bedrooms, two and a half bath to three full bath. This house has lots of opportunity and lots of options. It's running between 789,000 and 799,000 at 2,500 square feet. This one's a little further in the process. It's um, been sheetrocked, and we are gonna walk through and just kind of get an idea of what this one looks like. I believe this one is the three bedroom, two and a half bath with an office down below. All right, let's go look. 
All right, so here we're gonna go through the garage because the house is again, like I said, being in the mud and tape stage. So we're gonna walk in through the garage. You walk in, in this house, there's the office to your left. This could be another bedroom. This is a bathroom. And then down the hallway is the door. And then it walks in, as you can see. And you walk into the kitchen with an island and the great room area. Walk-in pantry right there. This house has the fireplace in the wall. And then it's going to have a built-in on the side. This is a different type of setup. The door is going to go outside to yet another covered patio. Kitchen is pretty standard. Like I said, the island's right here. And then again, you walk upstairs, which we're going to do next, and see what's up there. Okay, here is the stairs. It's quite the staircase, let me tell you that. They are going to have the heater on up here as they're drying the tape and the mud. Again, you walk into a huge loft area. This can be converted into a bedroom. They chose not to on this one. Closet in the hallway. A bedroom. Another bedroom. Full bath. And then you're gonna come in to a fourth bed, third bedroom. And then this is the uh, primary bedroom at the very end of the hall. You walk in, here you go, another soaker tub, shower, walk-in closet, toilet, and dual sinks. So this house actually is configured for four bedrooms, which is a little different than the plan. So someone has made some changes on this one, but there are four bedrooms upstairs. You have a loft, you have the office downstairs, 2,500 square feet, it's a pretty big house. So this is the Lowry we just walked through. Wanted to make sure you saw that there were different elevations. Definitely three different options based on home plans and where in the neighborhood it's placed. Having different options gives it a different look so not all houses look exactly the same. We will dive inside and see the floor plan and talk through what the Lowry looks like inside. So here's the floor plan for the Lowry that we just walked through. I wanted you to see that the downstairs, there's two options for upgraded kitchens. And then the other thing that makes this house special is this could be the house that could be three bedrooms to a five bedroom house. And the fifth bedroom could be downstairs with a full bathroom down where the study is in this plan. And then as you walk upstairs, you can create a fourth, which would be a fifth, whatever bedroom out of the loft. So there's lots of opportunity up here. You can make a sitting room. You can have two different looks at the bathroom. These plans allow you to mix, match, change it as you will, make it a three bedroom, make it a five bedroom, two and a half bath to three bath. Lots of opportunity here. Certainly something to consider if you're looking for new construction in Wilsonville, Oregon. So these are the other available lots that are in the same subdivision. These back up to the green belt, as you can see with all those trees. These lots are all available, but they are a little more spendy because they are green belt lots, but they're always available and willing to look at what houses they can put on them, which is kind of nice since that's not always the option for every home builder. The other option that this builder um, gives is these multi-family townhomes, 1,500 square feet, running about $599. They have options to build more of these as well. Always a great option to get into a home in Wilsonville, Oregon. We did a drive-by of the Nora, which is the conjoined townhomes. They're 1,960 square feet. You can configure them to three to four bath bedrooms, sorry, and a two and a half bath. They have, instead of a backyard, they have side yards. There's different elevations, as you can see. We'll open it up and look at the floor plan, but we did do a drive-by of these finished products. Wanted to show you what they look like as there's definitely opportunity to have more of these built. They are running around 599,000. So there's a couple of things about the Nora plan. You can have your living in the front or in the back. It depends on what elevation you decide. And you can have three bedrooms or four bedrooms. Again, here's the downstairs 
two car garage main level i guess you have an opportunity to make it a gourmet kitchen and there's definitely options there that you can change that in all of them have a covered porch and a, um, you can have an optional covered patio in the back which makes for great barbecuing and everything else they are st um, stubbed for gas um, then you go upstairs and there's definitely again the fourth bedroom can be where the loft is so you'd have four bedrooms upstairs the owner's bedroom in the back um, and again that owner's bedroom can be in other elevations can be in the back or the front I just wanted to give you a look at what those townhomes conjoined living looks like again we're talking about 1960 square feet for around six hundred thousand dollars it's an excellent opportunity to get into a home in Wilsonville brand new construction so that's a pretty quick run through of some new construction homes in this small development in Wilsonville whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days shoot me a text send me an email give me a call let's talk about new construction in Wilsonville it's a really hot topic out here there's lots of opportunities we'd love to get you in a home lots of options for financing as well look forward to hearing from you and thanks for joining us on this small tour.